Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Journeys review series. Today we are reviewing episode 124 and I hope you enjoy. So we are back with part 2 of the Ash vs Cynthia battle and it continues form in this episode with some really solid stuff. The episode beginning with Ash at a slight disadvantage with 3 Pokemon left while Cynthia has 4. I thought this episode built upon the tension really well, putting Ash in the situation where it feels like everything he's doing is kind of being countered by Cynthia. Dracovish came in and managed to get a win against Roserade, but it was a ticking time bomb as it was poisoned and it was refusing to go back in the ball. But still a nice win for Dracovish and I'm glad we finally get to see its fighting spirit once again. We even got to see Team Rocket cheering from the sidelines which was a cool touch. But by far the MVP of this episode for me was Surfetch, already one of Ash's best Pokemon on this team in my opinion, and I just love the heart that it shows in this battle coming in and firstly getting Ash to take out the stealth rocks in a bizarre way, giving me flashbacks to Ash vs Paul once again where Ash had to get rid of Drapion's toxic spikes, and then Surfetch goes on to put in a really good shift taking down Cynthia's Milotic and leaving her with just two Pokemon, even in the scores. Surfetch even did well against Garchomp, I really thought that final Meteor Assault might even take it out, that would have been a nice twist, but it did a lot of damage to it and in the end it didn't even fall down, it remained strong and it was still standing in defeat which I absolutely loved. Which left Lucario as Ash's last Pokemon which we all saw coming, but then Cynthia decides to recall Garchomp and bring out Togekiss for some Dynamax action. Who saw that coming? Well if it wasn't for spoilers and leaks beforehand I would have thought this was a cool twist, but ultimately I think this was a mistake for Cynthia and probably the thing that could cost her this battle. Dynamax isn't treated as strong as Mega Evolution in this series so I think Ash and Lucario can easily stall out 3 turns and take it down which will leave Lucario with the upper hand against Garchomp in its Mega form at the end of this battle. But this episode was another great one, it just continued on the good things that the last episode set up, it continues with smart tactics and switch outs, a lot of status moves and different strategies used like Ash getting rid of the stealth rocks and he's really shown everyone why he had that unpredictable category on full. Even Leon is starting to see this is just what Ash does. So it was a really enjoyable episode, the animation was fluid, the background music was great, I could feel the tension for Ash, I could tell a few points in this episode that he was feeling the pressure, you could see he was trying to get himself pumped up. So overall this was a really good episode, let's hope they can bring it home with the final episode next week, but for this one I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Please let me know your thoughts on this episode, what is your rating? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.